Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about how to clean the Xbox Series X. Now if you're like me and have used the console quite extensively, it's probably a good idea to do this every three to six months. Now I know it's only been two months, but you'll be surprised to see how much dust actually gets inside this console. Now the Xbox Series X can be laid down horizontally or stood up vertically, so if you're in the vertical orientation, you might want to do this more frequently. Now you might be wondering, how are you going to clean the Xbox Series X? I mean, sure, we understand that dust does accumulate, but how are you going to get inside the console? You certainly can use canned air, but I'm using something I purchased on Amazon, and this is the DataVac Electronic Duster. So before we get started with actually cleaning the Series X, there's three things we need to take into consideration. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is just look at the console, make sure everything's unplugged. If you have the SSD by Seagate, make sure that has also been removed. So step one is just to take a look at the console, see what areas we're going to target, remove any external devices, and then we're ready to move to step two. Now step two is going to be to block the fan at the top of the console. For that, I'm using a little straw that came with the data vac, but you could use any household plastic straw or a wooden dowel. You want to make sure that the diameter is correct and that it will fit through the top of the holes on the Xbox. And you want to make sure it's long enough that if it does for some reason fall down, you can easily remove it. Now, step three is going to be to actually clean the unit itself. Okay, so for step one, we're going to give a quick overview of the console here. You don't want to concentrate too much air on the disk drive as you could actually force debris inside the unit itself inside the lens of the disk drive or the other mechanics. Now, you don't have to worry about here focusing on the USB, that's not a problem. In both sides of the device are actually just a sheet of plastic, no inlets or outlets. For this cleaning, we're really focusing on the top of the unit up here, which it will be hard to see if there's any dust, but if you look here, you can see some dust in this outlet exhaust port. And down here, is another area that we're going to want to target. So in here you might be able to also see a little bit of dust and sometimes these ports can get quite dusty depending on the environment you're using the unit in. So here's a good example of why we do step one. We have the one terabyte SSD card. We're just going to remove that nice and easily and just set that aside. So now that we know the console is good to go and we have our areas that we want to target and speaking of that you can actually see some debris and dust inside the little tolerance, the gap here between the back plate and the rest of the unit. So now that we have our areas to target, we know that every device is unplugged, we are good to go. We're gonna move on to step two, which is going to be to stop the fan from moving when we hit it with some compressed air, or in this case, a DataVac electronic duster. On to step two, we're gonna take our little trusty straw here, and we're gonna to go to the top of the console, and we're just going to find a good spot to place this, which can be right between the fan blades. And we're just going to set it just like that. It will be hard to see, but it's really just barely touching the fan, just enough to stop it. And we might actually hold that while we spray this down with some compressed air. So step three is going to be to take our data vac unit here, plug it in and get started. So guys, we're going to hit this with some air. I think I'm going to start at the bottom here just to do some agitation. So here's our data vac going in. All right, that's it for the back and top of the console. Let's spin this sucker around and we'll give it one final hit just on the front here, just to get the disk drive and the front USB. And that's it guys, it's really that easy. Whether you're using a data vac or compressed air, all you have to do is follow these three easy steps 
and you'll have a nice clean Xbox for many years of gaming to come. If you found this video informative or you may have done something differently, I'd love to hear it below in the comments. If you aren't subscribed to this channel, doing so would really help me out and I would appreciate that as we're going to have more content in the coming months. So as always guys, thank you for tuning in and have a great day.